Blue Tongue Lizard. Amazing. Ooh. My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. The carnivorous predator. I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. This here is a magnetic termite mound. They've built this particular structure in order to keep it cool in the middle of the day. So to do that, it's a very, very thin structure. When the sun is beaming hot, it's pointing on a very, very thin surface of the top of the termite mound. And in this environment where there's a lot of termite mounds, there's a kind of ecosystem that's created. At the top of the chain is often the reptiles. And out here, I'm gonna be looking for the blue tongue skink. Oh, it's actually quite open here in these termite fields. So it's actually fairly easy to actually spot animals that might basking in the morning. Snake! Black whip snake. Woo! That there is one of the fastest moving snakes out here. And of course, like all the other diurnal reptiles, they're out basking in the early morning, getting their body temperatures perfect. And they are a bit venomous, that's why I've got my snake hook. They are a lapids. They're not up there in like the top 10 with the King Browns, Eastern Browns, Coastal Taipans, but certainly they could cause some damage. Let's let you go, Mr. Black Whip Snake. Woo! on that rock basking. It's not our blue tongue, but that is a Burton snake lizard. Yes. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Now you might think that of course is a snake because they don't have any legs, but actually there are many, many lizards that don't have legs either. And this one, of course, is not a snake because they have ear holes. And so that's your first kind of way of telling whether it might be a legless lizard or a snake. They are just unique looking. Look at the, the snout and the length of that mouth opening. And that's because, interestingly, they might look not very fearsome at all, but actually the Burton's legless lizard will be eating a whole host of different animals, including snakes and skinks, maybe tiny little baby blue tongue lizards as well. Woo, yes, <laughs> really cool. Good luck, buddy. Blue tongue, right there, wow, whee! Hello, buddy. Whoop. Yes, <laughs> got him. <laughs> Woo, look at that, blue tongue lizard. Now you can see exactly why they're called the blue tongue lizard. Look at that amazing, bright, bluish hue of that tongue. They use that in order to deter potential predators. But like all of the animals this morning, they have to be out basking to get to their perfect body temperature. And this one, again, is no exception. This one is actually an omnivore. So it eats pretty much anything, just like us. We're looking at smaller insects, maybe small lizards, and anything that doesn't really move too fast, because of course, the blue tongue lizard hasn't got the fastest gait on in the world because of the tiny little legs that they've got. And of course, if you were a, a potential threat and they would see massive mouth open up and the blue tongue come out, I must say with that little bit of a hiss, they are pretty scary. Even for me when I'm thinking, well, I'm not sure whether I want to get bitten by it, but they do have a quite a strong jaw pressure as well. So if you got actually latched on onto the end of my finger, it would actually hurt because they're quite, quite powerful. Oh, wait, yo, boop. <laughs> they got quite powerful bites and you don't want to get your finger in there. The blue tongue skink is the largest skink species in the family. So there's no other skink that's bigger than the blue tongue skink. And sometimes they can get much larger than this, maybe four times the size, twice as long, but of course they get much bigger and heavier built as well. Well, there you go. The blue tongue skink, what an amazing morning. And I'm gonna say goodbye to you, happy hunting. And the blue tongue skink, yes. You're gonna open up your mouth and say goodbye to everybody? Come on. Boop. Yes, there you go. Blue Tongue Skink says goodbye.